Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of right-sided ureterocele. A ureterocele appears as a cystic stru structure projecting into the bladder often near the normal location of vesico ureteral junction BUJ. You can see the right kidney and it shows mild hydronephrosis with almost minimum hydroureter. The ureter cannot be traced as it is not dilated. Ureterocele are often diagnosed by prenatal ultrasound where the dilated ureter and kidney, the upper portion of the kidney and the cystic structure, the ureterocele in the bladder is seen. Ureterocelles can also be found by ultrasound after a children has urinary tract infection or other reasons to, operate, to obtain a urinal ultrasound. So the ureterocele are birth defects that occur in approximately one out of every 2000 babies. They occur most often in Caucasians. A ureterocele is 10 times more common in girls than in boys because the duplex collecting system is more common in the girls. Duplex collector system is two ureters for one kidney. Ectopic, that is extra vesical, ureter, ureterocele refers to ureterocele with the tissue that originates at the bladder neck or beyond into the urethra. They typically arise from the upper pole moiety of the duplicated, duplicated collecting system and are more common in the pediatric population. Now you can see the distal portion of the ureter as it in, enters the urinary bladder, that is ureter vesical junction. You can see a cystic structure. This one, this is the ureterocele. A ureterocele is a swelling at the bottom of one of the ureter. Ureters are the tubes that carry urine from the kidney to the bladder. The swollen area that can block blood urine flow, a ureterocele is a birth defect. In most cases, ureterocele doesn't cause serious health problems, but it may cause to leak the urine. And you may notice this when you cough, laugh or jump. You may also have problems emptying the urinary bladder. In most cases, if there is a reflex up the ureter into the lower part of the kidney, the reflex should be treated. It is unli unlikely to disappear with time. If this is the case, removal of the ureterocele and ureteral reimplantation, that recreation of the flap wall is recommended. A ureterocele often occurs in lower part of the ureter where the ureter enters the bladder. Ureterocele's are equally common in both left and right sided ureters. Some persons with ureterocele are asymptomatic. Often the diagnosis is made later in life due to kidney stones. This is this patient is adult patient aged about 30 years and you can see the ureter. Ureter is dilated due to the presence of this ureterocele in, in uh, right side of ureterocele. Ureterocele's are cystic dilatation of the distal ureter and occur due to congenital ureteric wall weakness. They can be arthrotopic occurring in the normal ureteric locations and most commonly seen in adults as the, in this case. It is simply a swelling limited to the end of the ureter as it enters the bladder, that is ureteral vesical junction or vesical ureteral junction. The swelling resembles a balloon on ultrasound or during camera examination. As you can see, this is a balloon type projection. Radiographically, ureterocele appears as a round constant filling defect 
at the ureteral orifice ureteral seal appears as a transonic intervesical lesion on ultrasound demonstration to the bladder protruding a cyst within a cyst appearance in most cases ureteral seal doesn't cause serious health problems but it may cause you to leak urine you may notice this when you cough laugh or jump you may also have problem with emptying the urinary bladder so you have seen there is no stone in this case no stone is seen in the kidney ureter or urinary bladder simply there is urinary tract infection as the patient complains of urinary symptoms there is incomplete uh, evacuation of the urinary bladder there is a residual urine seen after passing the urine and this is the ureteral seal in most cases if there is a reflex up the ureter into the lower part of the kidney the reflex should be treated it is unlikely to disappear with time if this is the case removal of the ureteral seal and ureteral reimplantation is recommended you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks